this is the new path, by the way. This has been here for a while. It's like a hiking path. Yeah. place to ride, a new Bronx Nugget, if you will. I never knew this was here, but now that I do, I'm going to show you exactly where it is. By the way, this today, which is January 6th, uh, is the one year anniversary of this scooter, as far as we own it. I don't know if it's as far as uh, it's ever been made, but it's one year anniversary nonetheless. Um, which this is going to be great. I'm going to try this new, uh, I guess we'll say, this new, uh, if I can get over the side. Thank you. This new path I found out. And these guys are blocking it. So, we're going to have to go around the other way. And they're blocking it pretty bad. I know these cars don't care about those puddles over there and I just don't want to get wet. But I found this out by just doing a little exploring the other day. And just letting, just ride it. And I'll just, so what this is, is it's, that's the Hutchinson South right there. And this goes right on the side of it, all the way to Pelham Bay Parks, uh, entrance basically or the other side of the entrance or at least near so what I wanted to talk about today uh, since it is a year um, hopefully you can hear me through the microphone I have the visor down because it's about whoop, 37 degrees and I just don't see through my tears as well as I think I do. Um, by the way, this is extremely hard to talk to everybody and nobody at the same time because there's nobody in front of me. And as you can see, the piece here. Just making sure they know to move that way. I don't want to hit any of these. Um, as I said before, um, to talk to everyone and no one at the same time is I don't know if this will ever be my gift, uh, gift of gab, but it's normally when I talk to somebody, direct, a tangible person, it's a lot easier. Um, I mean, look at this path, it's just nothing but road. Nobody on it, beautiful, love it. Lovely little bike path that goes possibly for about maybe a half a mile to maybe three quarters of a mile long. Uh, it's just nothing but open path. It does have windy parts right here, so please, you know, be careful. It's, I can only tell you, I'll show you a map on where it starts at. Uh, but if you're in the Bronx, at least at the top of the Bronx, over by the Mars Park section or anything else like that, this is a great, great way for a gateway. To get into things. Now I'm gonna be slow because the children are here and they don't seem to understand how this works. There we go. Gotta be deliberate sometimes. Um so I was gonna talk about why you should own a scooter and I know there's a lot of people who have fears about ever owning a scooter and I get it I 
would have been able to take it, except this person was taking it as slow as possible. Um, <laughs> and this is actually the perfect time of year to own one. Uh, actually, no, in the summer is, but what I mean by that is that COVID forced me to basically own a scooter whether I was ready for it or not um, because I, I just living in the city uh, in the New York City area and the way COVID hit the New York City area and the five boroughs was that you couldn't go outside we were all basically told to stay at home we had curfews and COVID was in the buses as well as it was in the trains it was in a lot of places so what did we do um, I wasn't gonna take a bus I didn't own a car at that time um, I wasn't going to take a train. Uh, it, obviously, that wasn't going to happen. But we needed freedom, and I wasn't just going to be positioned into walking everywhere. Um, but I was going to take a ferry. Because apparently, there are ferries all throughout Manhattan and all throughout the New York City area. And being in a ferry, there was nobody in there, and it was a lot freer. So, what did I do? I got myself a scooter, and by the way, this is not my first scooter, just letting you know that. Um, I'm glad this wasn't, because I would never have been ready for it. Um, in fact, I think one, two, three, four, this is my fifth scooter, so I actually do know what I'm talking about here. I have um, a couple. The first two were underpowered, and but it taught me that I was able to ride it. Um, the next one after that, the last one before this one, I'll tell you, was a full free ride uh, Horizon, and that's a 48, uh, 48, what is it, 48 volts, I think it was a 13 amp hour battery, that would get you top speed if you can get there 26 miles an hour and 26 miles of range that was pretty good but I needed something more rugged and can go more distance uh, and I remember my landlord was like why are you paying all this money out for scooters just get the biggest baddest and best one that can take miles and never have to pay again. And that was a great idea. That's how I got this back. And here it comes somebody who shouldn't really be on this path at all. I don't know if it's about to come down. Fingertips starting to freeze. But I'm willing to do this ride regardless of the fingertips. Anywho. So. Um, why you should buy one? Well, there are a lot of freedoms to owning a scooter. You know, scooters go into places. Let's start with that portability. Um, if you get the right scooter, and that's the other thing, you actually have to buy the right scooter for you. And unfortunately, the thing that that wind is killer! <laughs> Hopefully you still hear me. Unfortunately, I had to go through four scooters before I got to this one. And I really feel like this one was the perfect one for me. Um, this one was the one that even though I have my accident on it. Yo, beep your horn next time. I hate when people do 
but although I did come to a breaking sensation, which is good. Anywho, the place I'm going to has no bikes on it. <laughs> Um, I'm not mad at him. I'm just more angered by the fact that, actually I'm not angry either. Um, there needs to be communication, that's a blind, and I get it. Um, that's a blind corner, and that's why I'm not mad. If it was anything else, I'd be ferociously angry. And I'm not the type of person that goes after someone. So, let me get back to what I'm saying. So, portability. Um, you're buying your scooter for. Um, let's just say you're trying to get to live in the city, uh, you're getting to the store, you're going to you know, work, you just got across a bridge, and you really only deal with the subway. I get it. Then what you want is like kind of like a last mile solution. You don't need anything this powerful. Um, you need something like a 9 bot Max My Horizon uh, would be a good one. Ooh, my, uh, like I said, my Fluid Free Ride Horizon would have been a good one for that as well. Um, which is, you know, it'll take you, or if you're getting off the bus, or you just don't want to take the bus. Like, let's say you have what most New Yorkers have, which is a... Uh, to transportation solution which basically means that you're on a subway um, and you get off the subway but you still got a long distance to go because the subway doesn't go anywhere near your house you have to take a bus well having a scooter especially excuse me a commuter can get you to where you need to go quickly um, as, uh, you might need a portable light one. Uh, e towels are great. Um, I heard. Uh, eight inch tires, eight and a half inch tires. You don't need anything too ridiculous. You just need something that'll get you home and back, or that's it. Um, or if you have a car and you park it somewhere and you can't seem to park at home or anywhere near your house. Woo! Great thing to do is to have the scooter in the back of the car, in the trunk, jump on it. Don't have to worry about parking near your house anymore. As far as that, because you can always scooter to the car and scooter back home and that kind of thing. I can't believe I went this way like an idiot. <sighs> Oh, I know why I went this way. I wanted to show you this new area. You know what? I might do that tomorrow. I think I'm just going to take this route around. Which is perfectly okay. Take this side. I always told myself I hate this path. Um, we are now in Pelham Park, going to Orchard Beach and the City Island area. I'm going to put myself in right here. I do not know why this person is walking up my side. Hopefully they use the bathroom. <laughs> Second, um... Woo! Get speed now! Um... car can and can't is so important like for an example um 
you can have a motorcycle and you can get to places that a car can't you can park places that a car can't however what a scooter can do is even if you have an electric bike and i think those are dope too i do not disrespect an electric bikes at any point problem is with electric bikes are you can't take them into places because the portability factor there also comes into play go this way i figured i'd go to orchard beach today you can go to places that nobody else can for an example right now i'm riding the boardwalk right you can't do that with a car you gotta stop your car you gotta get out you gotta especially during the summer you gotta you know go in the heat deal with the heat right now when you're on a scooter because you're going at certain speeds you feel breeze you don't feel heat that's a great thing by the way um you get a chance to see things that nobody else sees by riding, you know, because you can't walk there all the time. Um, but in a case like this, you can always ride there. And that's something that is huge. I, I don't think many people understand just how huge that is. I don't know why I want to go in there. <laughs> it's got no dirt path. And I'm like, maybe tomorrow, not today. Well, no, tomorrow's going to be snow, so I can't. Um... You know, there, like I said, there are the dangers of having your scooter and, but you can't go places like this without anything else but, you know, a small device, you know, or a small mobile device. And with, with my type of scooter, I can go long distance to places like this and just enjoy the moment. You know, there's a freedom in it. Maybe I can warm my fingers up. <laughs> There's a freedom of just going to places like this and overlooking City Island and, and the river. You know, and just seeing the true glory of God sometimes, you know, where other people can't. Um, and that's very important. Uh, so it kind of just gives me a freedom that a lot of people don't get so that's what a scooter also brings and because it's so light and portable um and hopefully this is being recorded okay part two <laughs> because this is so light and portable and so and it breaks down it's actually one of the best vehicles to have around um like i said it it, it offers very little footprint um, it's rugged. The one I have is <laughs> it's muddy because I did some mudding last night and I, I, I look at it as a badge of honor with all this mud as you can see right here. Um, it, that's sometimes I just keep it dirty because the fact is I like the fact that my scooter did something like muddy. Um, the other thing that I, I see out of scooters is because they can break down the portability, their, their footprint it's a great thing to use i you can't get away from that factor um the freedoms that you have the places that you can go the things that you can do that you can't do with any other automobile other than just walking and i've been able to go over certain bridges and everything else like that and see places that nobody else sees so getting a scooter has a lot of that factor into it if you're a college kid yeah 
definitely you can ride all over the campus and get to classes quicker you can get to places quicker um, depending on what type of scooters you have like there are scooters that can do 60 miles an hour I wouldn't uh, advise it but they can do dirting better than I can do because their wheels are built for that and there everything else is built for that I personally I just love riding this thing I love finding new paths to go to different places so yeah I know the, the the pros of that and I know the cons the cons are like oh well it's dangerous you can fall and uh, it'll be it yes I'd be the first person to tell you um, especially with this beauty right here I did fall I got into an accident and uh, it could have been worse the, the brakes locked up perfectly when they were supposed to but the front tire hit into a pothole which the city really needs to fix and my I guess you could say my elbow here went back this far and I had to have a new piece put into my arm uh, which was my radial head and I had some ligament damage as well um, but I got over it I'm like listen if you're in a car you get an accident you don't just stop riding because you got an accident that's not how it works not not at all it works by you getting back up and improving on what you did before you know learning lessons and and doing what needs to be done I mean I get it it's scary because it's like oh my gosh there's no you know there's there's no protection around you it's not like a car you don't have uh, steel dude you can die at anything <laughs> let me explain that whether it's in a car there's more car deaths per year than there are scooter deaths or bike deaths there's more bicycle deaths than scooter deaths you know, it's possibly because there's less people riding a scooter too let's let's be honest but as long as you're safe with the way you do things then I think it should pay off Let's also talk about fuel, because that's a very big part of owning a scooter as well, um, that many people don't think about, is like the fueling costs. Um, when I look at the insurance that you have to buy for a car, right? The license you have to, yeah, not the license, but the license you have to have for a car. Um, and I know a lot of people are like, well, you we should start licensing. But these are considered bikes in New York. And by the way, you know, I, I, I pay attention to New York, um, New York rules as far as like owning a scooter with what they like to call a step step scooter. And a lot of this, the the rules that they have for this scooter is pretty much based off of having a bike. sounds like a motorcycle from the back of me because I'm hitting all these cobblestones it's just having a bike basically so you go with the same rules that you would have in the New York City area when it comes to having a bike um so I'm actually under you know I obey those rules as much as I possibly can <laughs> which won't kill me um with owning something like this which is great um as I said before you have to pay insurance You'd have to pay uh, car notes sometimes, if you, and you'd have to pay gas. And gas is not cheap, you know. Uh, I would wager that it's almost about ten thousand dollars a year that a New York City car takes up. Um, let's, let's not even throw in the fact of as far as the carbon footprint. We're not talking about that right now. But you would have to pay gas, tolls, prices like that. Uh, if you constantly run the subway, that's a, that's thousands of dollars a year. Run a bus, it's thousands of dollars a year. And with a scooter, since I go from my house, charge it up, go right into my classroom if I wanted to, I could charge it up there. All in all, with electricity, I only pay Listen to this, maybe $95 a year. 
maybe 95 dollars a year versus tens of thousands of dollars per year just to own something yes i don't have enough room to put two people on this i get it yes but do i really care about that nah not at all i'd rather not <laughs> Take myself off of the eco. It's not my job to care about that. I'm gonna let this dude behind me go by so I can have as much running space as I want. So, yeah. Alright, let's do this. Enjoying the fact that I didn't have to wear my visor. <laughs> Woo, that front tire scared <laughs> um, Front tire does take off. So, it's something that I enjoy. It's a lot of fun. Yes, it's scary at certain times. It's a little sketchy. say about that, the freedom of everything. Take you to the other spot. Personally, I, I, I do get in the 30s. I don't like it. I'll be the first person to tell you that. Uh, it feels, when I go into the high 30s, it feels a little uh, sketch sketch. It's, uh, Put myself in second gear. I don't really need to pump it any further than this, right? So, yeah, those are the great reasons to own one of these bad boys. And, ooh, they finally fixed it. Oh my gosh! Credit where credit is due. I hated that bump. Somebody with money complains. <laughs> That's the only way I could say that because if I complained, it doesn't mean anything. But I think if somebody had cachet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, they need to repay this whole thing. Other than the cold, it's a beautiful day today <laughs> to do this. Um, I don't know how far down I'm gonna go in this brand new, like it's not a bike path, this is just a hiking path and I know it's gonna get real sketchy quick. <laughs> in fact, I might just go there and show you guys exactly where it's at and not go on the path at all. <laughs> Thing, but this one, this scooter right here, I really don't have that much range inside. Um, I, I, I do say the Cabo Mantis Pro SE, um, I can get around without having that much range inside. This is the very same scooter that I ride from like Wall Street all the way into my place, which is, you know, at the top 
pocket of rocks, for goodness sakes. Um, and that's why I've been managing not to. Um, and you guys have seen my videos, hopefully. Once again, uh, please subscribe, hit like, put some comments down there. I would love to grow this channel a lot more. Um, the only way I can do that, especially in YouTube's world, without getting monetized 17 ways to Sunday. Um, oh, this is gonna be fun. The only way I can do that is by you guys uh, chiming in. Uh, on these things, but my longest rides, and you guys have seen it, was from like Wall Street all the way up here, and that's going through all like four different boroughs at the same time, which was great. And did I have range anxiety doing it? Absolutely not. <laughs> Crazy as it may sound, I put myself in eco mode, and I killed it that day. I think we can do this. So this is the new path, by the way. This has been here for a while. It's like a hiking path. And here I said I wasn't going down this way on path, but I'm about to get off in a couple of seconds. I don't know how. Yep, I can feel the earth moving underneath me. Oh, slush, slush, slush. Well, we're doing some more muddy today. <laughs> I love this. <sighs> that's where uh actually no we were right over there uh and that's where i normally like to go to shore park which is right over there um but like i said this is fun for me um as you can see there's a freedom I can get away with riding my scooter. <laughs> Can't see those rocks like I used to. Well, I've never seen them before, so. Oof, that one moved the stem. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta be brave. Right over there is where I was a couple minutes ago. Um, that it would be Orchard Beach. Let's turn it around. And let's make our way back. There goes that bump again. <laughs> you know what? I should just turn on my front motor. There we go. Bump, 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 bump. As long as I'm not out of control. And this is how you do dirty. You just stay level. You don't turn so much. And you keep it in control. <laughs> My scooter loves Terry. Woo! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I hope that was all caught on film. My scooter loves Terry. That front motor, when it kicks in, woo! That's another thing. Dual motors are awesome. Get you up any hill, quickly, reliably. Love it. I'm gonna stop right here because I don't want to get <laughs> caught in a rainstorm. And uh, there's about 16 cars back there. See what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. Really, I should be riding that direction. Out there. Ew. 
This scooter was rated as to hold 330 pound person, at least weight capacity wise. Um, I'm about 210, 215. So it does go down a lot quicker as far as range is concerned. Uh, body shaming me. <laughs> but she still does her job, you know, and that's the most important thing. Dad done it, I left the visor up. <laughs> I'm trying to sweat through my tears here and I'd rather not do that. There we go. <laughs> Gen braking. I do not have it on the scooter, and there's a reason why. I just, I don't see any reason for a regen. Just <laughs> putting it aside. <laughs> just making sure nobody gets hit. <laughs> have a nice day. Also, it's very important for a scooter owner, so that other scooter owners get a chance to, is to be respectful and responsible, you know? I have this, this horn for a reason, and it's because pedestrians don't know we're coming. And, oop, looking one way, forgot to look the other. <laughs> pedestrians can't hear us. These are, these are electric motors. It's not like it's good to do it, you know? These are electric motors which are silent and nobody can hear that coming. This is a motorcycle, yeah, they'll hear us, but and they, a lot of times pedestrians are walking the same paths as 
and we would be riding. Um, so just to make sure that there is no foul the horn is used, I, I, I made sure to get a, a, a larger horn so that as you can hear, people can hear a long distance away from me rather than me almost being right up on them and hitting that guy down there and uh, possibly hitting them and disrupting the ride as well. So you have to think about everybody around you. It's funny, it says 33%, but I know I have way more power than that battery than that. It's called your center of gravity when you're on these things. I think I'm going to just ride this Eco all the way in. Now I'm going to do what this dude should have done. Hitting the horn like that lets everybody know I'm coming. Those are blind corners. Fingertips. Dead. Okay. save so many uh, injuries from happening, you know. I'm coming in there at possibly about, I, I think it was probably about 18 to 20 miles an hour. The last thing I need is to slam into that dude at whatever speed he's at. Every time I go past somebody, I stop talking because they probably are sitting there going, he's talking to himself. Ah, is he crazy? Is he crazy? Is he crazy? Uh, no, I'm not crazy. I'm trying to talk to you guys, and this is one of the things I was talking about before, is talking to everyone and no one at the same time.